Okay. Let's look at your tour history. I didn't really notice if you guys had played Jacksonville before. Oh yeah, yeah. Jack Rabbits. Oh, okay. Back, really? Back in the day, repeatedly. <laughs> we've, we've only played one of the places in Jacksonville. Can't remember, the only one you can ever remember is Jack Rabbits. That is like yeah. the Stand place up. to play, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, we had fun there. How long ago was it, would you say? Oh, eight, nine years ago. Wow. <laughs> it's been a while, so yeah. how does it feel to be, I guess, back here then for such like, a big event um, in Jacksonville area? Great. Awesome. What a, what a great lineup today. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're really, really honored to get to be a part of this. So this is awesome. That's awesome. Um, so fun question first. How much money do you guys have seen you spend on duct tape? <laughs> <laughs> that could have went so many ways. <laughs> uh, how much is a roll of that? It's, it's called gaff tape. Okay. Used by professionals in the movie industry. <laughs> um, it's like $16 a roll, right? It's kind of expensive. expensive, yeah. $16 a roll, one roll per week. But you've learned how to kind of recycle it a bit. Yeah. You get, you get a few shows out. Oh, of gross. <laughs> <laughs> the, thing, the thing about me is when you're on tour, I use headphones, and the rule if you work for us is do not pack the headphones up in a box after the show. Because only after one day, you pull them up out of the box and they're still festering with my sweat. One show's worth of whatever I create while I'm on the kit. Ripped off facial destroys hair. Destroys the smell. And you'll wear the headphones and then your whole face will smell and you'll smell something everywhere you go and you realize it's your face that smells like that. <laughs> you got mold growing. Oh, spores, yeah. That was awesome. Nothing nice. <laughs> That's great. So, um, throwback, what was it like shooting the music video for Typical Backwards? What was that like? What was the process? Uh, it was really fun. I mean, it was yeah. certainly stressful. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we uh, took a lot of preparation, that's all. So everyone just had to learn their part backwards. <laughs> uh, so it took a few weeks. Once everyone had it, we, uh, you know, you get to run all these experiments. That was the fun part is you... I, I remember spending like every waking moment of my life for a good solid two weeks just pondering what would it look like backwards if anything I saw would run backwards and if that would be a nice gag to try. So we just tried every trick we could throw into four minutes. That's all we did. That was it. The typical video. That's awesome. Very cool. So how would you say like has your sound changed or progressed over the years with the advancements of technology? And culture. Yeah. Culturally. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Actually, I think the you, you do a lot of work when you make a new album to try and be really different, challenge yourself, not fall into the ruts that you fall into or be an imitation of yourself. And you end up realizing at the end of the day there's a chemistry. The four of you are, and that's kind of what you do. There's, you know, as much as you feel like you went way out in the left field, like, ah, this just sounds like us. I mean, we, some records have been more rock, some of them are a little more electronic, mm -hmm. you know. But all in all, we've, I feel like with this pop rock four piece with some crazy sounds, yeah, that's, that's what we do. I mean, <laughs> we, this new record, Vitals, in particular, is synthier than the one before it a lot, a lot more synths. Mm -hmm. That's a big, big thing. I feel like I've reluctantly been forced to accept new mediums of recording or technology because everything we had when we started now is breaking. So um, I found this is the first record I actually did on a laptop. Yeah, that, was a, that was a big deal for me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. That was such a great patronizing. Yeah. 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 Good. Welcome, welcome to the new age. But yeah, that's where I'm at. <laughs> that's cool. Um, Along with that, how do you think that you, or how have you seen the industry change during your time as a musician? I love it. Yeah, you can you can get anything right now on your phone. What do you, what do you want to hear? All of it. That's great. Let's get it. it makes everything more ephemeral, right? Everything comes and goes so much faster. Mm -hmm. But it can kind of give other things longer life. The best thing about now, to me, is that you have some young kid in his bedroom just making a great record, uploading it to SoundCloud, and finding an avenue. The potential, the potential for that, the way that that usurps the gatekeepers, gets around middlemen, is exciting. I think it's a revolutionary, beautiful, wonderful time. It comes with its disadvantages, but I think the good outweigh the bad. Okay.